Alex Caruso probably had one of the best defensive performances I have ever seen as a Bulls fan last night. He was up in Kevin Durant's grill, absolutely locking him up, and Kevin Durant showed him some love after the game. But before we dive into today's video, let's show Alex Caruso some love. Type his jersey number, type those sixes down below. But hey, let's dive into what Kevin Durant had to say about Mr. Alex Caruso. What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Bulls Report by Chat Sports. On today's show, we'll be deep diving into Alex Caruso's absolute magical start to the 2023-24 NBA season, and he had his best game of the season last night against the Phoenix Suns and Kevin Durant. And let me just get right into it. He absolutely locked him up last night. This was coming from NBA Central, one of the best Twitter accounts on NBA Twitter, and they tweeted this stat line out. Alex Caruso's defense versus Kevin Durant last night, he locked him up. KD was one of seven when guarded by Caruso, forced him into two turnovers, and had a key block on him. And the main kind of stretch down the uh, end of the fourth quarter and in overtime where Billy Donovan left Caruso on an island versus Kevin Durant. The whole game, the Bulls were blitzing KD, trying to get the ball in rotation for the Phoenix Suns offense. But in the last couple of plays, Billy Donovan put faith in his potential defensive player of the year and said, hey, you go mano a mano against one of the greatest scorers we have ever seen in the league, and this is what Alex Caruso did. He was absolutely special last night. You really can't undervalue or understate how good and just the overall impact he had on that basketball game. Like, the Bulls got down by 18 early last night. Like, the Suns came out and they blitzed them. Kevin Durant was going, running a lot of high pick and roll, forcing a double team getting the ball movement on offense, and then the Suns were hitting a lot of open threes. And then Caruso stepped in the game, not even talking about his defense. He hit three straight threes to cut that lead uh, to nine points, and the Bulls got back in this ball game. He was absolutely fantastic last night. I thought this was one of the best games I've seen from Caruso, and I hate calling him a role player because it feels disrespectful, but Caruso is one of the better role players in the league. And speaking about Kevin Durant, this was the love he gave Alex Caruso after the game when a reporter did ask him about that. He said, he's a phenomenal player. I don't even want to call him a role player. I agree, KD. He said, but just a guy that you can plug with any lineup and he's going to make the right reads, the right plays on the uh, defensive and offensive side. And I agree. Caruso was doing that all game last night. I mean, this stat sheet is absolutely ridiculous to me because I think it shows two things. I think it shows, one, self-awareness. Like, Caruso only took five threes last night. And he made four or five. I'll tell you what, any other NBA player in the league, if they hit their first three threes, they're probably putting up eight or nine. But Caruso knows his role. He's a very self-aware basketball player. And he was four or five from downtown, had 19 points, three steals, and two blocks against Kevin Durant. And he is the perfect role player. Like, if I had to kind of construct, like if I was in an NBA 2K lab here and I wanted to build the best role player I could, I think it would honestly be a guy just like Alex Caruso someone who is going to know his role on offense, be that connecting piece, makes the extra pass, isn't always looking for his jump shot, but when the ball comes in kind of a, a flow of an offense, he can step in and knock down an open three. Then obviously defensively, we know who Caruso is. He is one of the best defenders in the National Basketball Association. He was first team all defense last year, and he's looking like he could do that again and maybe even win a depoy. But right now where he ranks in the NBA through nine games, total deflections, he's first. Deflections per game at 3.7 at 6, or 6 in the league, and then charges drawn at 3. And my whole thing, I absolutely love deflections as a stat. I kind of compared deflections and steals to uh, pressures and sacks in the NFL. I think it's very similar where, like, I would rather look at pressures and deflections in terms of impact on the defensive side of the game, whether it's NBA or NFL, and Crusoe does that at a high level. I mean, you think about it. If a team's trying to run their offensive sets – trying to get easy looks. If you get a hand on a basketball, it just completely disrupts what they are going to do. And Caruso does that better than anybody in the league. He's got these super long arms. He's super strong. I mean, anytime he flexes, you see the veins coming out of his arms. He's just an overall freak athlete. And he's been absolutely dominating the defensive side of the floor. And even his own teammates are taking notice of what he's doing because how couldn't you? And this is what DeMar said. Uh, probably one of the coolest quotes I have seen uh, in terms of an NBA player showing another NBA player love. But DeMar said this, he is our Ray Lewis. He's the Deion Sanders. He's the Charles Woodson. He's definitely one of those great 
vocalists, communicators, and competitors when it comes to that end of the ball. He's a guy that, without a doubt, can win it for sure. Obviously, talking about the Defensive Player of the Year uh, award, but this really, I mean, this is one of the craziest stats I saw. I mean, the Bulls' defensive rating when he is off the floor compared to on, I mean, you guys see it right now. The Bulls' defensive rating is 115.8. That's 25th in the NBA when Caruso's off the floor. What about when he's on the floor? They're sixth at 106.6. Absolutely incredible. I mean, I think this is just a perfect example of just, you know, talking about his impact that he can have on the basketball court. And also, he's just electric to watch. Like, he, he's one of those guys, like, where you feel the energy through the screen, where you're watching the game. And, like, I, Caruso had me jumping for joy last night. You know, every single time you get a stop, I'd be screaming, let's go, because he's a guy I think it just can spark the fan base and just overall get people invested, you know, in him, and they want to go play with him. I mean, I'm watching Caruso, and I'm like, man, Billy Donovan, give me a jersey. I'll go play next to Caruso because just the overall, you know, impact and energy he can bring to a basketball team. And it's kind of cool that his teammates – are actually showing love to him on that side of the floor. I'll tell you what, I don't know what type of draft capital the Bulls could get for a guy like Alex Caruso, but his trade value has definitely skyrocketed um, this season. And maybe KD was kind of giving uh, Caruso some love. Maybe they want to go trade for a guy like Caruso there in Phoenix. But, man, Caruso, he was absolutely fantastic last night. I think he's truly turning into a Defensive Player of the Year candidate so far. But you guys got to let me know. Can Alex Caruso win Defensive Player of the Year? Could he actually do it? I mean, the last guard to win it was Marcus Smart, but before that, I believe it was Gary Payton. So listen, guards don't normally win it, but Caruso, he's definitely making a case to win it. I'll give you guys my thoughts here if he can win it here in a second, but I do got to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Prize Picks. I absolutely love using Prize Picks. You guys may be asking, what is Prize Picks? Well, Prize Picks is daily fantasy made easy and it's simple how do you play you pick two or more players you uh, choose more or less on their projected stat types and you guys can start rolling in the cash today if you guys go to prizepicks.com slash clns and use code clns you actually get a first deposit match up to 100 dollars. but hey bears fans i'm assuming we've got a couple of you guys watching right now bears thursday night football tonight against the carolina panthers and possibly one of the most boring games in nfl history if you guys want to add some more juice to it Use prize picks. This is the lineup I'm rolling with tonight. I'm going to take less on a lot of stat projections tonight. I'm going to go less on Bryce Young, 217 and a half passing yards. I'm going to go less on Tyson Bajan at 185 and a half passing yards. But I do think Dante Foreman, I think he's going to go more than 62 and a half rushing yards. A little revenge game there as well. But that's the lineup I'm rolling with tonight. You guys can uh, get involved in on the fun if you do head to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use that code. CLNS, you'll get a first deposit match up to $100. I'll put that link for you guys in the comment section and the description of today's video. But guys, make sure you guys do get involved. It makes the games a lot more fun, especially if you got a boring game like Bears, Panthers tonight. Use prize fix, adds a little more juice to the game. So make sure you guys do get hooked up today. But my overall take, can Alex Caruso win Defensive Player of the Year? He certainly can. I mean, we saw Marcus Smart do it. Um, I, I believe it was two years ago when he won it. But, hey, if I'm just being honest, it is a Biggs award. Like Rudy Gobert, those typical shot blockers, you know, do end up winning that award typically in the NBA because it makes sense. Like the blocks are kind of like the flashy stat in terms of like defensive kind of value in the NBA. Like most NBA fans, most NBA media fans, like when you think of elite defensive talents, you think of the Gobert's, the elite shot blockers in the league. But I think a point of attack defender like Caruso could definitely win that award. But kind of speaking about a little bit of a, you know, the trade rumors around Alex Caruso, I, I'm starting to think it's likely he gets traded. And mainly because of two things. Like one, I think the Bulls, when the trade deadline rolls around, listen, they're three and six right now. You're probably going to be below 500. And that means the Bulls are probably going to be looking to get draft capital for a lot of these key guys. And also, contenders are going to call. Like Kevin Durant said that we showed you guys at the top of the show, like he is a true definition of a guy you can just plug and play into a bunch of different lineups. Like that's the thing with Alex Caruso is like, you know, we talk about Kevin Durant offensively. You can plug him into any offense and he can kind of fit seamlessly into that unit. Like we saw with the Warriors. Like when he joined the Warriors, there was really, you know, there was a talk about like, oh, can KD fit? Well, he fit absolutely perfectly. And I think Caruso's the same way. Like if you would add him to maybe like, let's just say like, I mean, they're not listed right now. Let's just say like the Minnesota Timberwolves. If they called and they were like, hey, we'll give you a package for Caruso and you paired him up with Gobert at your back end, being your rim, t rim protector. Anthony Edwards is another great 
uh, point of attack defending guard, and you have J.D. McDaniels. Like, I think Caruso could be that guy that a lot of teams look at, and they're like, oh, he's the piece that could get us over the top. But some teams that could be calling. Obviously, the Lakers. You know, could we see the reunion with Mr. Caruso and LeBron? I mean, LeBron is probably Caruso's biggest fan. And if you would pair him up with Austin Reeves, I mean, I'll tell you what, those two white boys could be having a lot of fun in L.A., and it would be a lot of fun to watch. But also the Boston Celtics. I mean, the Boston Celtics are also a team that could create one of the most scary defensive lineups I think I've ever seen in NBA history. If you would roll out somehow, I mean, you could even go crazy small with, like, Derek White, Drew Holiday, Caruso, and Brown and Tatum. And I still feel like that team would really get after it defensively. Obviously, you're a little, uh, you know, smaller on that side. But, you know, they still have poor Zingas. You could pair him up, you know, with a bunch of different guys. I mean, the Celtics could be a team that's calling the Sixers. I mean, the Sixers, I think, are another team that could be calling uh, with, obviously, Tyrese Maxey, you know, Embiid and the boys. Like, if you pair Caruso up with, uh, you know, the 3 and D wings they have over there with Morris, Covington now, Kelly Oubre, like, Tobias Harris. Like, they could be a definitely interesting one. And then Miami Heat. I threw the Heat in there because Caruso would fit the Heat culture perfectly. And I think Eric Spolstra, if there was a kind of coach in the NBA, I would want to see Caruso, just like my basketball side of me coming out right now. is like, see what Spolstra could do with Caruso in an NBA playoff series. You know, give him very specific defensive assignments. Like, Caruso would excel in that. I mean, six foot six. He's got a long wingspan. Very strong guard, too. I mean, Spo would have a field day. Then I threw the Warriors in there. Um... Listen, we obviously know the Warriors, like, you know, with Klay Thompson kind of taking that step back defensively over the last couple of years, they definitely need another point of attack defender. They got Gary Payton. I love what he does. But if you would actually add that anchor, add that guy in Caruso, I mean, I think they would be absolutely special, man. But overall, Caruso, he absolutely balled out yesterday against the Phoenix Suns. I love what he's been doing, you know, here in the short, uh, short starts of the NBA season. And I just kind of want to give him his flowers on today's show because I do think we – Maybe undervalue or under, you know, just kind of underappreciate a guy like that, where it's like, yes, it is a superstar league in the M- our NBA, where it is like, you know, the guys like Kevin Durant, the Jokic's, the Giannis's, like they determine, the, you know, who ends up winning championships. But you need guys like Caruso around those stars. And I said it earlier, but like Caruso being that perfect role player, I really think he is that. Like, talk, if you ask a guy like Kevin Durant, Name one guy you want to play with in the NBA. It's probably a guy like Caruso because he's not going to take shots away from him and he's going to do the little things. And honestly, he'll get Kevin Durant more open shots because he'll buy him that extra possession. He'll get that extra stop where they can run out in transition. I absolutely love Caruso. He's been balling out this year and it uh, just kind of stinks. He's not, you know, being wasted in Chicago. But, you know, last night we wasted his magical performance with, you know, a tough overtime loss by one to the Suns. But, Got to give him his flowers, man. Caruso's been absolutely great this year. And, hey, if Caruso is and any trade rumors, we'll make sure to give you guys a video. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And I'll be tweeting about Alex Caruso, tweeting his defensive highlights all year round and just overall showing the man some love because I'll tell you what, it just stinks that uh, the Bulls wasted that great performance yesterday. I love what he's done this season, man. But, everybody, make sure you, again, type those sixes down in the chat. Show Mr. AC some love. The call I had yesterday on our watch party, I kept saying – uh. I kept saying, you better turn the AC up in the United Center because Alex Caruso is cooking in the kitchen right now. Like, he just brings so much energy. He adds so much juice to this basketball team, and we really see the impact when he's on the floor and off the floor. But thank you guys so much for watching. Wanted to show some love to Caruso today because he had guys like Kevin Durant, DeMar DeRozan, all showing him love as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Give me a follow on Twitter. We'll see you all next time. Go Bulls.